If you're going to get a beer in Johnson County, you might want to pick up something on the menu as well. Businesses that sell liquor are required to have 30% of their sales be food. At this point in time, there has been no action over the last 30 years plus. Uh, to make any changes in Johnson County, but several microbrewers, tap rooms, I would call them, uh, have suggested that times have changed. Breweries like Red Crow, who's making it work. We actually don't have a kitchen here. We use food trucks and basically hire them as contractors. So um, you purchase the food from us and then they provide it for you and we pay them at the end of the night for their services, less the, the, all the applicable taxes, which we collect and submit them at the end of the month, just like we would if we were making it ourselves. Robert says he would like to see the law changed because other businesses like his may not have the same option. It's a business model that we've adopted and will continue to use, uh, you know, not to, but just because it works for us doesn't mean someone else should be beholden to that same rule or that use that to have to be forced into using that same model also. Eilert says he believes the county commissioners will vote to put it on the ballot, and most likely you'll see it there in 2020. We are looking at that issue. Uh, state statute, the interpretation we have so far is that uh, the election must be held in 2020, where there's a statewide ballot election and it must be held in November of that election year. A change Roberts is looking forward to and hopes Olathe will follow. If Olathe want to say we want to have people in here and you can do whatever you want and not have to have serve, serve food at all, uh, they can't, don't have that option. It's kind of beholden upon the voting, uh, voting in Johnson County as a whole. Sheree Honeycutt, Fox 4 News.